the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 274, Ezra 7 to 8. Ezra's establishment of the Sanhedrin Assembly. Ezra, who decided to study the laws of God, practice them, and teach the people, returned to Jerusalem, harboring this mission in his mind. First point, Ezra, who was a scholar in the laws of Moses and an official of the Persian Empire, returned to Jerusalem with a second group of captives in 458 BC. Jerubbabel was the leader of the first return of the captives, and then Ezra became the leader of the second group. Ezra was a scholar in the laws of Moses, a priest, and also an official of the Persian Empire. Ezra noticed that the king had granted him all that he had asked for. It appears that Ezra was a teacher to the king or some kind of a high-ranking official. Ezra was well versed in the laws of Moses, and his supporter was the king Artaxerxes. Although Ezra was a captive, he was the descendant of the high priest, and therefore a priest himself. Due to the Persian Empire's policy of regional decentralization, the first group of captives had already returned, and now the second group was to return. Similar to the first time round, Ezra and the second group of people also set off from Babylon. Later on, Nehemiah took the third group from Mount Susa to Jerusalem. The reason Ezra decided to return to Jerusalem, which remained a desolate place, was because he had devoted himself to the study and observance of the law of God and to teaching its decrees and laws in Israel. Second point, Artaxerxes, who wished to gain good results through his regional decentralization policy, sent Ezra to the region of Levant. The king of Persia sent Ezra and the second group of captives to Levant in order to succeed in his regional decentralization policy. Artaxerxes also released an edict. The reasons the king sent Ezra was first in order to investigate the political and religious circumstances of South Judah. The second was in order to systematize the laws in the west of the Euphrates River. The third was in order to succeed the regional decentralization policy in the Levant area. The king provided generous funds for Ezra to make offerings to God in the Jerusalem temple. In order for everything to learn smoothly, Artaxerxes issued another edict to ensure that all funds would be provided. This was the fulfillment of God's words to Isaiah. Artaxerxes excused the people who worked in the Jerusalem temple from paying tax to Persia. He also provided Ezra with the necessary funds and the tools to make sure that it was safe in the west of Euphrates River. Ezra had the right to establish laws, teach them, and also to judge the people. Third point, Ezra established the Sanhedrin Assembly, which became an important assembly for the Jews. With Assyria conquering North Israel and Babylon conquering South Judah, Israel was no longer able to maintain their monarchical system. On the other hand, the Persian Empire allowed the Jews to keep independent council around Ezra, and the result of this was the Sanhedrin Assembly. The Sanhedrin Assembly enabled Ezra to carry out legal judgment. This was supported by King Artaxerxes and was made possible through Ezra. And even after the fall of the Persian Empire, this assembly was maintained. Fourth point, Ezra looked for the Levites for the second return of captives and also prepared while fasting. 
In order to prepare for the second return of the captives, Ezra firstly checked the list of the people who were to return, and this was done according to families. He secondly searched for the Levites. When he found out that only 341 Levites returned during the first round and that there were none during the second round, he quickly searched for them. Before heading back, Ezra proclaimed a gathering of the people to fast together. Ezra did not seek help from the king before going, but from God. Ezra was highly regarded by the king that the king did not hesitate to provide Ezra with a hundred pieces of silver on top of all the other materials. This meant that Ezra could simply have asked the king for military protection, but Ezra did not ask for this. He recorded that this would have brought him shame, as he had been the one to teach the king that God's protection was enough. He had every faith that God would help and protect them. Fifth point, similar to the first round of return of captives, Ezra also made an offering to God on behalf of all 12 tribes of Israel. Finally, the second round of return of captives to Jerusalem set off. Ezra gathered the people for three days in order to count and record them, spent a further nine days to search for the Levites and then headed for Jerusalem. It took approximately four months to reach Jerusalem. Once they arrived, Ezra and the people made the offering to God. There was no damage to their goods during their four months' travel, and so they offered it all. Similar to the first time round, Ezra also made an offering to God on behalf of all 12 tribes of Israel. After making the offering to God, Ezra handed over Artaxerxes' edict to the governor of the Trans-Euphrates to ask for help. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.